Welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to use the particle emitter effect. So the first thing I need is a source for my particle emitter, and I'm just going to use a sphere again. And um, actually, that's good. Let me just make it smaller. Okay, and uh, let me turn off the neon material for now. I might turn this back, back on later. Oh, I did not change it. Let's go to plastic. Where is it? Here it is. Plastic. Okay. So I have a sphere and it is anchored. And this is my particle source. Okay. So I just have a little, a little sphere, a little white sphere that I will use as the source for my particle, for my particle emitter. And it's anchored and I got this size right. So let's go ahead and attach a particle emitter, which is right at the bottom here of the effects in the model menu. Okay, there we have a particle emitter. Now the nice thing about the particle emitter is that it has a lot of um, properties. So we can change a lot of things about this. So let's go through these. Okay, the first thing is you can change the color. So we could make this a green or yellow. Let me move this so you can see this better. You can make this any color you want. Okay, but I'm just gonna leave it at white. That is the color. The light emission makes this glow. So if you make this, and there's a slider here, if you make this one, your particles will glow, okay? Light influence, uh, that's already at one. Let me see what happens if I have that at, one, at zero as well. Oh, I see. So light influence is, I guess, how much light bounces off. Yeah, how much light bounces off of the off of the particles. So let me turn this back on. Okay, so there you go. How much light is emitted and how much light bounces off basically of your particles. Um, orientation, we have it facing the camera. These are actually like, like 2D pictures that Roblox just rotates so that they always look like they're facing us. And I think you can turn that off. Let me see. Facing camera world up. Yeah, let me, let me just show you. Uh, hey, that didn't work. Facing camera world up. Velocity parallel, <laughs> it's not really doing anything. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so velocity perpendicular. So now these are like facing kind of perpendicular to the direction that they're moving and you can see that they're flat. But usually you wanna leave these at facing camera. That way they look like a real object, even though they're just like a 2D picture. Okay, you can change the size. So I can make this a two and they get bigger. Uh, I'll just leave it at a one. Okay, squash, I don't mess with. Transparency, zero. Let me see. You can make that one and they would go away. Yeah. So you can make them transparent. Uh, let's see, there's some more interesting. Oh, and I forgot to change something. Oh, transparency should have been a one. Oh no, zero actually. Just forgot to hit enter. Okay. And then let's see, we have uh, emission direction. So this is talking about where these particles are emitted from on our sphere. And so right now they're coming off of the top face, but you could make them come off of the front face and now they come towards me or the left. And now they go to the, well, they go to the left face, my right or the right. Okay, but we'll just leave them uh, going from the top. Okay, you can also turn this effect off if you turn off the enabled property. And uh, let's see, there's some, there's a lot of really interesting properties here. Let's see, rate is how fast they come out. So let's make that a 10 and you'll see these slow down. There just aren't as many there. Yeah, I make that a one and you'll see like one come out at a time. I think it's like per second. So this is like one particle per second. That's what it looks like. Here's two particles per second. Yeah, and let's leave it at, um, let's see, what was it? Let's see what five looks like. Five looks okay, let's do 10. Yeah, 10 particles per second looks good. Uh, let's see, oh, there's actually a spread angle. Right now these are going, these are moving straight up. We could actually make these move in more of a cone. So if I make this, I don't know, let's say uh, 45, you'll see that they start to spread out a bit. And I can do this for both of the directions. There they go, and now they're coming off at more of an angle. Let me just move my camera so you can see this. Yeah, and that might be too much. We could make this maybe 20 degrees and they would not, it would not be such a big cone. 
that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, let me make that just small. Let me make that 10. Just because here in a second, we're going to actually want this to do something else. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, let me see, shape is box, shape in out, shape style. Here's one that I like a lot. It's acceleration. And that basically looks like they're blowing in the wind. So if I pick the X direction and I make that a two, these are gonna blow now, or these are gonna move. Let me let me zoom out so you can see this. Yeah, see, now they're looking, they look like they're kind of blowing in the wind. And you can make this faster. We can make this a five. And they will really, really move. And there they go. Okay, so we can do that. We can uh, leave that one on actually. Okay, now for me, the more interesting, the most interesting part of this is that you can change the image that the particle emitter uses. And it's right here under texture. And we haven't done this yet, so I'm gonna go slow and show you how you change the texture or the image, okay? So we're gonna go into our toolbox. So go back to your home menu, go to toolbox. And you can use, you go here to the marketplace and you click on images. Okay, so we clicked on marketplace here, images, and now we can search any picture we want. And you know, things that look good are stars or um, spheres, but one that looks really great is a teardrop. Let me see if I can find it. It's like a blue teardrop. Um, maybe it was raindrop, huh? These teardrops, okay, this one, Maybe this one, let's see if it's this one. Well, we'll try it. If it doesn't work, uh, we'll try something else. Okay, so the way that you the way that you replace your image with this one is, do you see when I hover over it, there's this little plus in a magnifying glass? We need to click on that. Okay, and now when you click on it, you get more information about this. Um, and this will tell you like who made it and like how many stars it has. So this only has one star, but um, you can, images are safe to download. You can't, you can't get hacked by, downloading an image, so no worries there. Um, but here it is, you see this little box, this gray box with a white circle and three dots? This is where we get the copy asset ID, and that's what we wanna do. We wanna copy this asset ID. Okay, now we go over to texture, click on it, and then paste. So right click, paste, and then hit enter. And now we should see teardrops, and this isn't the one yeah, this isn't really the one that I wanted, but um, let me let me change some things on this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is change the size. It's too big, let's make that a 0. 0.5. That looks a little better. Um, but let me see if I can find the, <laughs> I should have written down which teardrop I used. It was a really nice 3D teardrop. Maybe I used raindrop. Huh, these are all the teardrops and it's none of these. But let, uh, let's try some other ones. So let's try a, another one of my favorites is the bunny. Let's see if we can do bunnies in here. <laughs> and you wanna pick simple shapes, right? You don't wanna pick something really, really complicated. <laughs> we could put this bunny in there. Let's see if there's anything better than that. Uh, there's a lot of bunny images on here. Like you've gotta imagine uh, millions of people have been adding stuff to this for a long time. So there are millions of things here in the in the toolbox all right so none of these button none of these bunnies look really great i guess i'll just use that little square bunny at the top here it is yeah i'll just use this one so i'll hit the little plus sign i will hit the little box with the white circle i will copy the asset id and then i will insert it here in my texture id paste hit enter and now we have little bunnies <laughs> coming off of coming off of my my sphere. Little tiny bunnies, and I can slow these down. Let me see, where's the, where's the speed? Um, lifetime, I know this has a speed. Oh, here it is, speed. And this has speeds in both directions. Oh, it has a minimum and a maximum speed. You actually get a range for these. Let me see, is that it? Acceleration, drag. Time scale, that's what I was looking for, time scale. Okay, let's uh, slow these down. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, so now my bunnies are coming off 
a little slower. And we can make these bunnies glow, remember, with the light emission. Make these bunnies glow a little bit. Ah, uh, that looks pretty good. And you know what? I think that's what it was with the teardrop. I didn't have the light emission on. That's why they didn't look that good. Let me switch back to that um, teardrop. And feel free to play around and look for images that you like in this. Uh, this is really fun to just kind of customize it yourself. But let me get this one. Yeah, I think this is why it wasn't looking as good because I didn't have it glowing. Copy asset ID. Yeah, that's more what I was looking for. Okay, so here we go. Now this looks better. So now we have these teardrops kind of coming off of my particle emitter. And um, yeah, it looks great. So I, I really like the particle emitter just because it lets you customize it so much. Let me change my camera view. And I can even make my little sphere. Let's change the, on the particle source, let's make it glow. So I'm gonna change the material here. Make that neon. That looks good. And let me make it bigger. Let me make it a two. That looks good. Okay, so now we have, um, yeah, you know the only thing I don't like is that some of these teardrops look like they're coming off from the bottom. I wonder if that's the Z offset. Let me see if I can change that because I really like them to just come off the top face. So let's see, Z offset. Let's see if I can change that. I know there's a way to do that. Let me see. That is not the way to do it though. It's not the Z offset it looks like. Well, actually wait. Oh, it looks like it might be. It looks like they might be coming off. Yeah, 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 that worked. Okay, so let me see if I make this something really big, like 20. Oh yeah, now they're, <laughs> they're gone. Make that a 10. That's it. Okay, so that's what I was looking for. Oh, actually, now some of them are still coming off the bottom. 15. And again, you can just play with these. Oh, they're like appearing in the sky, weird. Five. Okay, I mean, it's not that big a deal. Um. Most of these look really good. Every once in a while, one will come off of the bottom, and I'm not sure why it does that. Let's see. Again, some of these settings I've never actually played with. Um, speed, spread angle, shape, box. Yeah, I don't really want to mess with that one. Shape, in, out, shape, style, volume, surface. Let me see if surface does it, actually. I think... I think that's better. Yeah, I think when I had it on shape style, they were coming off any point on the sphere. And now that I've got it on the surface, now they're coming off of just the surface, which looks better. It doesn't look like any of those teardrops are coming from the bottom anymore. Okay, great. So um, this is the particle emitter and you can use it. You can customize it in all kinds of ways. And um, I've shown you most of the properties. You can play around with some of these other ones if you'd like, uh, but these are the most useful ones that I've found. Okay, and that's it. We've covered uh, a bunch of the simpler effects here in Roblox Studio. In the next lesson, we will learn some of the more advanced effects. Okay, so I will see you then.